feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend Hey fams, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a collaboration with Heidi Sambo. She personally invited me to this wonderful challenge and it's called the DIY challenge. Um, she's challenged us to do some spring crafts on a budget um, and just to be creative and, you know, show a tutorial on how we arrive to these beautiful crafts and give you guys some ideas. So Heidi, I want to thank you so much for including me in this challenge. Your challenges are absolutely incredible and I just always have so much fun doing them. Heidi does a lot of DIYs, a lot of crafts. She's incredible at them. She also does some home decor, cleaning videos, some vlogs, and etc, etc. Whatever you can think of, she does it on her channel and her channel is absolutely incredible. I am going to link her channel down in my description box so that you can head over to her channel to see what she is doing for her DIY challenge today. I know it's going to be incredibly amazing. Also, there will be a playlist link in the description box of some more amazing and talented women that is going to be taking part of this challenge. Make sure you head over to that playlist and watch it, binge watch it lay down sit down do what you had to do get comfortable and just binge on this playlist because it's going to be incredible you guys and you're going to be drawing so many great inspiration from a lot of these wonderful women that's taking part so make sure you head over to heidi's channel subscribe and watch her video and also the playlist that will be linked down below So I am going to be creating four different DIYs and my first DIY is going to be a tea towel ladder. I've been wanting one of these for such a long time and I seen them in the store and they're a little pricey so I figured I would just recreate it myself in my style. So here I am showing you all the things that you're going to need. Glue gun, some glue sticks, some paint mixer sticks, yes, on a budget and a tea towel of your choosing. I chose this tea towel because it's absolutely beautiful and I got it from TJ Maxx for $6.99 and that is all that I spent for this particular project so here you're seeing me kind of just gluing the painter sticks together I wanted it to be as strong as possible so I went ahead and I glued three pieces on each leg and then now I'm kind of just eyeballing measuring out <laughs> the ladder itself um, word to the wise try not to use a scissors to do this and if you guys have any ideas as to how I would be able to cut this um, on you know inside of the house please let me know because these scissors were burning a hole through my fingers oh my goodness they're brand new scissors um but i just don't know if it was doing the job too well but i just went ahead and just was a glue stick glue stick <laughs> gluing the ladder down to each leg and um i think that it turned out absolutely amazing i just love the way that it looks on my countertops and the color is just beautiful i did not paint or wanted to paint the ladder because i wanted it to fit in with my color scheme all year round so that i can use it for all my seasonal decors so I want you guys to leave me a comment down below and just let me know what you think about my tea towel ladder if it's something that you too will be recreating. I love to clean up after myself. I don't like to do another project when my area is dirty. So here I am just trying to straighten out the tea towel and I'm sorry I sound a little nasally. I do have a cold. So this is what the end result is looking like and it looks so beautiful on my countertop. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, you guys, so this project is so cute. I am doing a garland again, but this time it's a floral garland. And the supplies that you need is going to be a wire cutter, if need be, or a scissors, um, the burlap ribbon or ribbon of your choice, 
um, glue sticks, a glue gun, and also some florals um, from the Dollar Tree or Walmart or Michaels. I chose the Dollar Tree because of the budget. Um, and they have some amazing florals, you guys. I just love these hot pink colors for the spring. Oh, they have some beautiful colors and beautiful floors at the dollar store. So here I am just going to take my burlap um, ribbon and just uh, cut the tips again so that I can have that beautiful um, tail looking um, style. I don't really know what it's called, but <laughs> I love it. I love the way that it looks. And I am just going to take apart my flowers and reattach them to the garland itself. Um, and the heads of these flowers are so full, you literally can make two to three um, floral arrangements on the garland out of one stem. So I am just tying the ribbon with my burlap um, string or cord and just kind of making that a little you know tucked in style that I like I think it's so elegant and it makes the garland itself looks so beautiful and you know springy so I am just loving this project I think it's probably one of my favorites that I am doing in this entire um, episode I don't know there's some really good ones that's coming up but I do love the way that it turned out and it looks amazing on my tree and of course you can do this for any season and with any colors any theme so go ahead and let your creativity run wild
finished result you guys doesn't it just look amazing oh my goodness i love it so much it's so springy and beautiful and it just it goes with my colors in my spring decor and i just i love it you guys i have a spring tree i do i have one every season um a spring tree a fall tree a christmas tree a winter tree i have one every season and i just love the way that this looks it's so beautiful it looks so dainty to me and i love the colors it just pops with all the other colors that i'm going to be using in my space i just i love the way that this turned out comment down below and let me know what you think about this project so here i am going to be creating a wreath um, out of styrofoam plates <laughs> and this is a new project for me and I just I got the inspiration off of Pinterest and I wanted to recreate it in my own way my own style so I thought that I should just go ahead and try it so obviously you're going to need a glue gun glue sticks um, some leaves or branches or florals or whatever you want to use on your um, floral wreath and you're also going to need styrofoam plates the styrofoam plates i already had actually i or yeah i already had the styrofoam plates the branches or the the floral stems i purchased from dollar tree i just bought a whole bunch of flowers and it came up to 18 dollars for this particular project i am using the I don't know what's that, what that's called, the branch or the stems or whatever it's called, but I'm going to be using this for my wreath and I love the way that this turned out and this is actually an ornament that I am making to hang on my spring tree and you're going to see it all come together because I'm not done decorating my spring tree, but you're going to see it all come together in another collaboration video that I will be doing coming up soon. Um, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my dining room for the spring and you're going to be seeing all my DIYs on my tree and how I decorated my tree for the spring season. So be sure to subscribe and double tap the bell um, if you are interested in seeing that and also if you're interested in seeing more of videos and crafts and tutorials and decor on my channel. I would love for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So here you see that I am just adding the leaves to the styrofoam plates. It doesn't have to be perfect how you cut it out. Just cut it out, um, you know, with the scissors and it doesn't have to be perfect. And once you get that hole in there, that's all you really need. And then you can glue your leaves or stems or florals um, any way that you need to, to cover up as much as the white as you need to cover up. You can also go ahead and paint the styrofoam. I I chose not to do it this time and yes I am in my robe because I am doing this at night before bedtime I just I love doing crafts in my robe I feel so comfortable and creative I don't know what it is about doing crafts in your nightgown but I just absolutely love doing crafts in my nightgown and my robe I feel so comfortable and creative so with that said I am going just going around putting the leaves on the wreaths and then I'm going to add the floral stems to it.
here is the finished product you guys it looks so pretty oh my goodness i am going to be making at least four more of these um to put on my tree it just looks stunning this would be a great project with berries for christmas and i'm already ahead of the game i'm already thinking about it <laughs> Okay, so my last and final project um, is an egg or an ornament or egg ornaments. Um, and I am going to just be punching holes into these styrofoam eggs. Um, I had them just laying around the house. <laughs> I did not purchase anything for this project. And I'm just going to make holes in the top of the eggs in order to create my little hanging, um, you know, thingy <laughs> to hang onto my tree so i'm using a scissors or you could use bobby pins whatever pointy object you need to use to make your holes as deep as you possibly can so that you can get your ribbon or your jute twine in there which is what i'm going to be using is a jute twine so like i said i did not purchase anything for this particular project i already had these things on hand and I just love the way that this looks on my tree so for this project you're going to need eggs you can use plastic eggs styrofoam eggs I particularly like the styrofoam eggs because you can manipulate the hole on the inside of them um, to go as deep as you possibly need to you're going to need scissors or any sharp object to make those holes and you're also going to be needing um, some jute twines or ribbons glue sticks and a glue gun So here I am just cutting the jute twine and just making knots in the twine itself. The first one was a bust so I had to redo it. Um, <laughs> and I am making 10 of them because I do have 10 eggs. And I am going to be gluing it on the inside and just sticking that jute twine down inside the hole. Um, be careful not to get burned. I got burned a whole lot but I'm a crafter so that's what happens <laughs> and I am just going to be making nine more of these knots and then sticking them in the holes and getting this project together So Heidi, once again, I just want to thank you so much for including me in this incredible DIY challenge. I love doing them. I have so much fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so much fun. Be sure to go ahead and check the description box down below for Heidi's channel. That will be linked to her video um, on her DIY challenge. I'm pretty sure it's going to be incredible because they always are. And also, don't forget to check out the playlist that's also linked down below in the description box for some amazing, talented crafters. You guys are going to have a blast watching this playlist as much as I do. I always have such a great time binge watching with my popcorn and my ginger ale on my couch watching these playlists um, I get a lot of inspiration from them and I also just love how creative we are as women and it's so important for us to support each other because there's room for everyone here and I just love what Heidi is doing um, and I also just love all these amazing women I have actually met a lot of incredible talented women and yeah so go ahead and check out the links down below And this is the finished product of my egg ornament. It is so pretty, you guys. I just love it. And it's so simple to recreate. I would love for you guys to comment down below and let me know which project you will be recreating and also what you think about my DIY. 
projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to head to the description box to check out Heidi's channel and the playlist and also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so and hit that bell twice so that you'll be notifi notified of all my uh, video notifications. Also share this video and give it a thumbs up you guys and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.